Today we are talking about belting. Belting is bringing your chest voice up in a range where normally just head voice functions without destroying your throat, of course. Okay, belting is um, something like this. We could have had it all. Okay, you hear the sound, it's like yelling or speaking, it's not head voice. Head voice would be this. We could have had it all rolling in the deep. It's a soft kind of voice and your belting voice, your chest voice is a harder kind of voice. Okay, what can we do not to destroy our throat by singing high in chest voice? Um, I found out several techniques which have very strange names by now. And I want to talk about the first one. It is a kind of mixed voice um, when you go higher. And it is called the unicorn in the penguin costume. Okay, I try to draw it, what I mean. So this is your head and you see you have to um, do two things at the same time. You have to build up this unicorn here, yeah, your forehead resonance and this soft um, penguin costume above it, okay? You can also compare it with a bow and um, when you spin the bow, like this, okay? Um, the unicorn is the hard sound in your voice. Normally um, I take the vowel uh to demonstrate this. Okay, so this all, we could have had it all, is a very difficult vowel because it's an awe and an awe is very hard to sing. We have to make it a little smaller. All, ah, uh, okay, like ah uh, in the nose and in the forehead. And when you think about this unicorn which goes straight out of your forehead, you can sing a lot better, yeah? You have to set the starting point above your, um, above your, your soft palate, like breathe in here, and then go straight forward to the unicorn. We could have had it all. Then you have a very clear sound, yeah? It's sticking out of your forehead, actually. Oh. You see, I do this face making it easier and really keep floating out of your forehead just in your concentration and then afterwards if you don't want this um, mean sound which is very sharp you um, can put um, over the unicorn your penguin costume yeah it's like this and this is um, your head resonance. Ah, ah, this kind of resonance. Ah, try it. Think about bringing the air up to this point. Ah, ah, and then get it down below to the forehead. Okay? Meanwhile, the unicorn is growing. Yeah, it's both at the same time. We could have had it all. Um, a little H in front of the words make it um, makes it diff makes it easier. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm German and I don't speak English a lot. We could have had it all. Yeah. Concentrate on your inner workings, have enough support to make it flow out. 
okay? But don't get too sharp and don't get too weak and soft. This is the soft kind of your voice in this technique and this is the sharp part of your voice. We could have had it all rolling in the deep. Okay, if the um, tone is even higher, you have to go a little straighter up. Deep, you had my heart inside of your hand. Yeah, it works when you lift up the head a little bit when you're singing very high notes. Um, your chest also has to stay up until the tone is sung out completely, okay? Okay, I will now tell you the next technique of belting. Um, it is the sunflower technique, I called it. This kind of singing type. Yeah, it's like raising a flower out of your mouth and at the same time um, it's growing into the earth, into your lungs and your throat is like um, like the earth's surface yeah, which has to keep um, not too tight but a little, okay? Like earth when you grow a seed. Fine! The sunflower technique has more um, chest voice in it and you have to lift up your head a little more, like this, okay? You sing more out of your mouth in this type of technique and it's a little stronger. Good! I try to demonstrate it. We could have had it all You saw there was much airflow coming out of my mouth. Okay, you didn't see it, but you heard it, I think. Otherwise, it would have sounded more nasal. We could have had it all, like in the technique before, yes. Okay, now we want to be a strong lady, a rock star or something, and then we really have to get our body involved in singing. We have to um, get hold from our back which is stabilizing us and keeping our chest up very straightforward until the tone is sung out. We could have had it all. So you sing in both directions. You keep uh, your roots inside of your back and then grow the flower out of your mouth. Please never stop growing. Yeah, it has really grow to the sun, straight forward into the air. If the tone isn't hasn't ended, you can't um, release your chest. Yeah, you think out of your mouth the whole way long. I demonstrate it again. We could have had. It's like opening up to the sun, like a sunflower really. We could have had it all rolling in the deep. And keep your throat stable by growing um, the roots inside of your lungs and inside of your back, yeah? They have to grow until your ass, really. Um, then you get a little more stable and your throat isn't beginning to get up like this. Oh! Yeah, you really have to think about this. Keep a contrast for the growth in the height. We could have had it all. Never keep it in the back of your mouth because it will hurt you. There's 
too much um, compression then. We could have had it all. This will hurt your voice. If you really want to sing chest voice, almost pure chest voice, get it out of your mouth. Yeah? Twang. Ah, and then let it flow in front of your face. Think of your voice before your head, not inside of your head. And stabilize it in your back, okay? The last technique for really, really high belting is the basketball dunking technique. I try to draw it. It's a, uh, yeah, this kind of technique. Yeah, you can even take your head a little down. Mm, think of a ball you are dunking from above down like this. Yeah, you jump and then get the ball inside. It's really important to have your air above your head before you sing. Oh, oh, okay. I'll demonstrate it. It's for really hard and powerful sounds. We could have had it all. my um, jaw loose and I move the tongue inside of my mouth from the back to the front in a controlled way in a very fast controlled way oh the little H in front of the vowel is very important to send your air up to your head and then throw it from there down okay we could have had it oh whoa Think about whoa, okay? Um, this technique uh, has a little bit this round head voice in it, but in a compressed way and lots of airflow through um, the mouth. Yeah, it has this forehead resonance and the mouth resonance too. When you take down your head while singing, you can see this when rock stars sing on stages, sometimes Pink does it too, um, then you really get your resonance in the forehead and at the same time out of your mouth. It's like pouring it down a river or a waterfall or dunking, for example. Um, I do the three types again. We restart with this kind of belt you use in musical, the unicorn in the penguin costume. It's the most mixy voice of the three techniques where you keep your head straight. Yeah. This was uh, the technique with the ah, and it's a little uh, more silent than the other techniques. Ah, and it's a little more mixy, yeah, more, more head voice in it. Yeah, you think about growing your horn, singing about this line, and at the same time putting your penguin costume down over the horn, okay? We could have had it all. Flower technique again. Get this again. Grow a flower. Bring your head up high and sing out of your mouth. Always thinking straight forward and stabilizing in the back and 
and your ass actually.